Mr Speaker, with, with your permission, I would like to make a statement. And first, I want to express my deepest gratitude to Sue Gray and all the people who have contributed to this report, which I have placed in the Library of this House and which the Government has published in full today for everyone to read. I will address its findings in this statement, but firstly, I want to say sorry. And I'm sorry for the things we simply didn't get right, and also sorry for the way that this matter has been handled. And it's no use saying that this or that was within the rules, and it's no use saying that people were working hard. This pandemic was hard for everyone. We asked people across this country to make the most extraordinary sacrifices, not to meet loved ones, not to visit relatives before they died. And I understand the anger that people feel. But, Mr Speaker, it isn't enough to say sorry. This is a moment when we must look at ourselves in the mirror and we must learn. Mr Speaker, I get it and I will fix it. And I want to say... And I want to say to the people of this country, I know what the issue is. Yes, Mr Speaker, yes, yes. It's whether this government can be trusted to deliver. And I say, Mr Speaker, yes, we can be trusted. Yes, we can be trusted to deliver. We said that we would get Brexit done, Mr Speaker, and we did. And we're setting up free ports around the whole United Kingdom. I've been to one of them today, which is creating tens of thousands of new jobs, Mr Speaker. We said we would get this country through COVID, and we did. We delivered the fastest vaccine rollout in Europe and the fastest booster programme of any major economy so that we've been able to restore people's freedoms faster than any comparable economy. 